Right guys, welcome back. Today I'm at the biggest weekend market on the planet. Join me, let's do it. Let's check out the biggest weekend market on the planet. Maybe it's just like that Jeremy Clarkson. In the world. It is a very, very hot day today. Woo wah wee wah. Look at this, he's done a Batman on someone's head. Look at that. So yeah, from the pictures, it looks pretty good. Let's check it out. Right guys, I remember this market being a lot more interesting like 10 years ago. I mean, all I've found so far is yoga pants and ornaments for your house you know that sort of stuff t-shirts nothing really crazy nothing really that different i remember it back in the day having like weapons dogs cats weird reptiles maybe it's just me maybe i need to keep looking but yeah i'm gonna keep exploring until i find something interesting otherwise i'm just gonna have to haggle for, otherwise i'm just gonna have to haggle over a t-shirt just to make a video but yeah anyway let's do it Let's not give up, let's keep going. Jad, bye. So what it appears to have is, you've got a road that goes all the way around the market, and then when you dive into the market, you've got all of this. So yeah, I recommend just dive straight in, don't bother with the road. Walk around the road a little bit. Yeah, dive straight into the middle of the market, it's way, way more interesting. And it's like a maze, you just don't know where you're gonna go. You don't know what you're gonna find. So yeah, it's really, really cool. Mm, this smells nice. Here we go, this is more like it. Let's find something interesting. Here we go. I was wrong. We've got fish. Very bright colours. Look at these, we've got like little... I don't know what these are. <laughs> oh my God, they're so cute. Maybe I should buy one. Nah, if I had a house, I'd buy one of these. These are really, really cool. Look at them. You can't get much cuter than that. Yeah, these are, I think these are lovebirds, which are, I love budgies as well, and parrots and stuff. I think they're really cool. Yeah, I love budgies. I know these aren't budgies, but yeah, I do, I do like these sort of animals. I think they're really cool. Hello. How friendly they are, they're not scared at all. If I had a house here, I'd definitely get some sort of cool pet. Look, we've got little tortoises here, look. Look at these. Wow. <laughs> wow, he's amazing. I've never seen this before. <laughs> what is that? All right, let's keep going. This is more like it. I don't really know what that animal was, but yeah. Wow, I've got some amazing aquarium stuff here. I won't show you because everyone gets angry at me. Yeah, look at this. Wow, rabbit world, look at the size of this fella. Wow, I've never seen rabbits this big. Or maybe they're hares, I don't know.
Yeah, maybe it's a hair. Maybe it's one of those German ones that are really big. Whoa! How cool are they? <laughs> How cute is he? He's amazing, look. the cutest dogs ever. I mean, I wouldn't buy one, I would never want a dog, but they are so cute. And we've got guinea pigs here, look. Right, let's see if we can find one jumping around, being cute. No. He's definitely not cute, he, he's moody. These are more cute, look. That's more like it, that's the action we want. Come on, do something funny. Nah, just munching on his, uh, his straw. That's the sort of stuff Michael Jackson used to buy and put in his house, isn't it? Never, never land. So yeah. Right, let's see how much one of these costs. 280,000 baht. So yeah, let's check out. 280,000 baht, what does that cost? Right, so that statue in English money is six and a half thousand pounds. So yeah. Pretty expensive, but not as much as Michael Jackson's house. He was spending millions, wasn't he? If you ever saw the documentary. Okay, so this must be the section with all the really expensive stuff. I mean, look at the size of this lamp. So yeah, if you're a rich person in Thailand, you want some amazing furniture, and this is where you'd come. Right guys, so what is my opinion about Chatu Chak Market nowadays? And I would say, honestly, I'd say it's more for girls. Always, it's like lots of cute little ornaments and souvenirs, which I don't know, as a man, I'm not really interested in that stuff. Um, there's some good food there, good t-shirt stalls, but you know, you get that all over Bangkok. So yeah, it's an interesting place. I would say it's more for like, if you actually lived in Bangkok, I would say it's really good for like, getting stuff for your house. You know, like furniture, cutlery, got very unique stuff there. So yeah, that sort of stuff's really cool. But as a tourist, yeah, more for women I'd say. But yeah, that's just my opinion. Um, the animal section was quite interesting, but again, as a tourist, you're not going to go and buy like a, a rabbit or something, are you? Or a, a goldfish. So yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. That's my honest opinion of it. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Take care from Mr. Matt.